the genetic counseling program at the Institute for Systems Genomics at UConn is in its first inaugural year. This is our first matriculating class, so we're very excited about that. The Professional Science Masters, or the PSM, is an initiative that began in 1997, and the idea was to launch a new kind of workforce-oriented master's degree at individual institutions nationwide. UConn is home to the only PSM in genetic counseling. It's an innovative graduate program because it combines both advanced STEM training with highly valued workplace skills. I'm a huge proponent of training more people, but I think this program is unique in the sense that the only thing that people need to be present for physically is when they're training with the genetic counselors and senior patients. So this is going to allow people to really take this, their courses from anywhere as long as they have internet access. The other thing is, is that I think the people involved in this program are extremely knowledgeable, you know, very well versed in genetics. And so it's really pulling on the best of the best. The need for this profession is very high. The number of genetic counselors that we actually have available is, is not enough to cover the number of patient and clinical needs that we have in the country. And I think that what we also are lacking is a diversity in the profession, and this is something that this program is really aimed to overcome by providing a diverse workforce and a strong workforce in applying genomic principles and personalized medicine to the field of genetic counseling. We have an online modality for learning, and that is in itself unique among genetic counseling programs. They are traditionally face-to-face. -face. We think that having an online modality increases access to learners who wouldn't otherwise be able to access a graduate program in genetic counseling. We also think about access in terms of how people learn. So having an online modality allows us to have multiple realms and forms of teaching. Not everybody's an auditory learner or a visual learner. So if there's a concept that I would like students to understand very well, they're gonna see it, they're gonna hear it, they're gonna watch it, they're going to apply it. Creating a, a truly inclusive learning environment is something that we put a great deal of care into in the program. Making sure that each student feels welcomed and respected and accepted and that the unique characteristics that make them who they are are truly valued. And I think this is particularly important to focus on when you're not trying to just increase diversity in our field in order to better serve patients and society, but to truly support the value that diversity brings to a student body, um, to allow our students to recognize the strength that their individual life experiences and viewpoints and backgrounds will bring to the profession. And we feel strongly that this type of learning environment is what will allow our students to thrive and to be successful in the genetic counseling profession. We have a vision and a mission that's embedded in the principles of a life transformative education and experience, which is kind of a fancy term for saying we don't just want to make a difference in a student's education, but we want to make a difference in their life. My experience with the program thus far has been really awesome. Uh, we are an online program, but we've had a lot of opportunities to spend time together in person. We have some activities that we do over Zoom where we get together and do mock genetic counseling sessions. We also do analysis of some case studies, stuff like that. So we really get to work together and that's kind of been my favorite parts of the program. The classwork has been really good. It's been overwhelmingly positive. We have a lot of interaction with our classmates a lot of group work, a lot of Zoom calls, and then we have the normal discussion posts where we type our discussions, but we also have video discussions where we will post a video and then respond with a video, which is really good. I find them really helpful because I get to learn my classmates' names, I get to learn their faces. I really enjoyed how we've been able to make strong connections with our classmates. The impact of this program here at UConn for the citizens of Connecticut is gonna be quite large. Right now we have a waiting list for patients to see genetic counselors that's months and months long. And so by building a framework for new genetic counselors to stay in the state, we're really gonna be offering support to those people in Connecticut that are in need of genetic counseling services. Although we're just starting out and this is our inaugural year, we're excited about the future and we're already planning for it. We hope to grow not only the student population, but our partnerships and our collaborations and all of the resources that our students have access to within the state of Connecticut will only get better with time. This program is really exciting and I think it has a really bright future because it's bringing in genomic technologies and training genetic counselors and emerging practices that are gonna be a really big part of personalized medicine in the future uh, for the entire country. 
I think it's also offering opportunities for students in new modalities of training that really do broaden the scope of participation in this particular profession. And the need for this particular profession is only gonna grow. So it's a very exciting time for this program to launch.